Hi friends, today we will be talking about hard smart disk error. Why does this happen and what's the solution for it? Let's find out. Now there are two to three reasons why this happens. The first thing is that your system might be infected with some kind of malware or virus which can be the cause for the corruption or damage of your hard disk drive. Secondly. If you use high-end softwares without a graphic card and a RAM below 8 GB, which is a minimum requirement for such softwares, otherwise your hard disk may crash. Another reason could be downloading huge pirated torrent files, which may contain viruses, and these viruses may cause your system to crash. In this condition, you may be able to operate the system for a couple of days. After that, well, you will have to change your hard disk. Now, what's the solution for this? At startup, all you have to do is press the F2 button, the function key, which will take you to the system diagnostic. Now, as you can see, there are three options which include memory test, hard disk drive check, language, and exit. I have already run the memory check, and it seems perfect. Now, let me check the hard disk. As you can see, I am selecting quick check. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's showing hard disk smart check has failed, which means there are a lot of errors in the hard disk. Now that was hard disk drive one. Let's go back to the main menu. On the main menu, we see those three options again as earlier. This time we choose exit and press yes. Now we are back up to the start screen. Here we press enter and continue startup. Now after pressing the enter key, if you see the windows logo, you will have to wait for approximately 30 minutes to six hours. As the reason for this is, it probably needs some time to filter all the corrupted data and runs with the good data selectively. As you can see now, it is showing scanning and repairing drive. After that, we go back to the startup menu and press enter to continue startup. If you are facing this issue for the first time, you might have to wait for a couple of hours and wait for the system to start. After the system starts, make sure to transfer the important data in a new hard disk, as the present hard disk isn't going to last much longer. <laughs> yes, if you're lucky, it might work for some more days. But um, you will still have to take precautions. Make sure you refrain from downloading any heavy pirated softwares or torrents for this period as this will destroy your systems. And this will definitely destroy your system if you do that. In case you want to download any such things, then I advise you to use another system for it. <laughs> now this is my operating system as you know, it's booted up. Here I am opening my computer. As you can see, it's working fine for now. If I use it in this condition, it may work for a couple of days or months, but sadly I won't be able to use it for any heavy work. At this time, it would be better to copy all the important files to another hard disk without wasting time. As we, as we don't know how much time we will be having with this hard disk. <laughs> As there is no permanent solution for this, please transfer the important files you need while you still can. I repeat that, while you still can, please do it. Now here are a few points to remember. First thing is please do not download any heavy software as the system is not in that condition right now. Uh, second most important thing is stay away from piracy and torrents, any torrents for that matter because torrents contain viruses. And the third and the last point is, please use a graphics card. Like if you plan to use heavy softwares, right? In some situations, you might have multiple partitions, that is drive C, drive D and more in a hard drive, out of which any of the partitions may be corrupted. So in that case, another solution is that you can try formatting the entire hard disk once and reinstall the OS in which obviously all the partitions will be formatted and you can start fresh with a new windows in the same hard disk, right? 
uh, and formatting the hard disk might even repair the corrupted areas in it. Okay. Okay, friends. So that's all for today. Please feel free to comment below if you have any more questions on this. And please do not forget to subscribe and please hit the bell icon for more updates. Okay. Thank you so much. Goodbye.